Come on. Get your pot in there. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. It's a cold one, eh? So this morning it was 39 degrees, and uh, the other day we had temperatures down to in the lower 30s. Uh, I don't know how low exactly it got, but it was down tickling 32. So we got Rocket here with us. We are in the 7600. We have the Moco in the back. We are going to head out, and I'm basically biting the bullet as far as knocking out that new seating hay of mine. So we're gonna head out there and knock it down. Um, as you guys may have seen in the past, if you've seen uh, my previous videos when I was out at the field uh, looking at the hay out there, I mean, there's a lot of grass in it and I need as much hay as I can possibly get. So we're gonna head out there and make it. Uh, now the weather has been on and off for the last several weeks. Uh, there hasn't been a good time to go out and cut this before it got real cold. So um, now the weather, the forecast looks halfway decent. They're changing it on the daily. But um, hopefully we can make it in a couple days here. It looks like we aren't gonna have beautiful weather, um, but when we get this into this month of October, um, we don't have nearly as much sunshine as we do in August and September. But we're gonna head over to that 25 acre hay field of mine and make the hay. Well, there is quite a bit of dried squitch grass in here. As you can see, all that's dried. Uh, will the cows eat it? Probably still, yeah. It should make a decent feed. Um, not the highest quality ever, but what I'm actually looking at is how much greenage there is, uh, undergrowth that there is underneath, and I think that should make pretty fine feed for them. Now I'm actually um, still wanting more feed for my cattle just because you can never really have enough. And at this point, uh, from what we made down the valley, um, anything that's left over, we're gonna be selling anyway. And for how feed is going to be this winter, I think, um, we really don't wanna run the risk of running short because for how this hay season has been, I really think that there's gonna be a hay shortage in our area. And I'm afraid to know what hay prices are gonna be come March, uh, April. And uh, hopefully this winter isn't too bad, but more feed the better. The blades are still pretty new. Travis took the moco down and cut out eight acres down in the valley last night. And um, I told him that I was gonna do this today and the blades are still in good condition everything. Should be a fine running day. There shouldn't be any problems. I don't think it should take more than two or three hours, but um, yeah, we're gonna get to go ahead and get started. All right, Rocket, let's do this.
note that I shut the tractor off. Get a slug of dirt. Mm. belt was smoking pretty bad. I shut it off pretty much as soon as it started doing it, but it doesn't take real long for that to start smoking. All right, let's go try to fire it up. There she goes. Don't let your mower eat slugs of dirt. Looks like all the neighbors had the same thought as me. Head out and get the hay made while the weather holds. There we have it. Uh, I just finished knocking out the 25 acres of new seeding hay. So I'm probably gonna try cutting a little bit out of this pasture up here. But um, other than that, I am pretty much done here and ready to go back to the farm. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated. I only expected it to take me a few hours and it's taken me quite a bit longer. The slip clutch out of the mower, we're starting to have some issues with because I had a heck of a time getting it started at first. But um, we gotta do some work on that by next year, but this was the last hay that we're knocking out, so it can wait. See this? This is what I'm talking about, the slip clutch. is not catching. We gotta do this last pass at half a mile an hour, but we're gonna do it. What is actually going on here is something is going on with the slip clutch. Travis and I aren't sure what. We think it might need new discs. Um, this kind of thing can happen if you over grease the slip clutch. You're not really supposed to grease it all that often um, because there are two plates inside this slip clutch that are supposed to make contact. And you want them to, to maintain contact unless something catastrophic happens with the mower. So to keep from destroying anything, let's say you run it into the dirt, what'll happen? is the slip clutch will start slipping and that'll save your mower from being destroyed or destroying anything further down the line. However, when they keep slipping like that, what's been happening here is that this PTO is still turning. The slip clutch is located right in the tongue of the mower and when the PTO or the slip clutch starts slipping, what'll happen is the whole drive line will start to slow down in the mower. So we have a belt back here um, in this black box container and the whole mower will just cut, slowly come to a stop as I'm running along cutting hay just fine. However, when you do that, the blades will slowly come to a stop. Um, the tractor will keep on maintaining its speed and it'll slowly start to fill up 
not slowly, it actually happens pretty quick. Um, it'll fill up with hay and it'll plug the mower. However, what'll happen, and it's happened two or three times today, is that the slip clutch will re-engage again and everything will want to jump back and start going, which is typically um, pretty bad for the mower itself, but up here, what's happening is that this is all plugged down here. Then when the mower's plugged, it provides resistance on this P PTO and uh, there's a giant belt back there and that's what's been smoking is because this will all be plugged up and then all of a sudden the, PT the slip clutch will re-engage again and everything wants to keep on running, but the mower's plugged, so the belt starts burning off. So the mower, the mower itself was not on fire. <laughs> um, the first time I saw it, I was, um, the first time that ever happened to me, I seriously wondered, but um, no, that, it's not very good for the mower. You don't want that to happen. So before we go through and start cutting first crop next year, we're gonna have to do some work to the slip clutch up here and see what the heck's going on because um, when I first got started today, it was kind of difficult getting it started. Um, it doesn't want to catch. And then once it gets going, you're fine unless it's under heavy load, like we were out in this pasture here, um, this little bit that I wanted to do. And it got a little bit too thick, a little bit too, well, honestly, dense and wet. But um, yeah, there's a lot of thistles out in here. Um, it's not too much, I just kind of wanted to cut it. Um, I asked Doc if it was okay if I cut that over there, and he said, yeah, sure thing. He, he's like, you're actually doing me a favor, so I came over here to do this, and uh, it's a little bit more rugged than it looks from a distance. Um, I had to go a lot of, around a lot of stuff, but so that's what's going on with the mower. Um, if any of you want to know how that all worked, how that all went down, we'll try to do a video on the slip clutch when we do work on that. Um, it's not going to be anytime soon, since, essentially because we're right into harvest. Um, this is the last time that the mower is going to be used this year, so we'll get to it when we get to it. We have much bigger things on our mind right now. So, I'm going to head back to the farm. What's up, Rocket? And we're back to not running. Check out those awesome LEDs! So before we put the mower away for good for the year, we're going to run through it and pretty sure that belt in the back needs to be replaced. So. Where oh where is the bale carrier? Where oh where could it be? There it is. Travis wants me to hook up to the bale carrier because he's going to load it up and move some bales. With that, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.